All right, so we've already worked on foundational positioning, front, heel, and side, using, utilizing a high rate of reinforcement and the wall to ensure that the, the weak position, the side position happened. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and step forward, move on to uh, setting up. And uh, we have a very, <laughs> you're so cute, buddy. We have a, uh, a very clean and efficient technique for getting um, all of our setup moves dialed in. Should take us about three or four minutes. So um, keep your eyes peeled, and Hops and I'll show you what's up. You ready, big man? All right. So uh, going around. Yes, good man. Hey, dude, it's right here. Yes, good man. Going around, foundational frisbee move. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cookie in front of my dog's face. Get him excited. Yeah, you can just leave that alone whenever. And Hops is a little aggressive right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for him to give me eye contact. Yes. And then I'm going to mark and reinforce with the lure and finish. Good. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to try and keep, yes. Keep his eye contact. Get out the drop share, buddy. Keep his eye contact. Yes. Working to establish. Come on, buddy. Hmm. Interesting. Ready? Come on, big man. Yes. Yes. Ha. You don't want those baby steps, do you? Uh, my lure was not challenging enough for. Uh, for hops here, which meant, yes, that he's not very interested in performing behavior. <clears throat> as soon as I set the lure in a fashion, yes, yes, that activated his prey drive, um, he was right on with me. So uh, that's something to really keep in mind. Uh, luring is a lot like fishing. Um, what, um, if, you, if you're fishing, you set the hook when the fish bites. If you pull too hard, you jerk it out of the fish's mouth. And if you, uh, if you don't pull hard enough, the fish spits it out because it's boring. And um, if you set the hook just right, yes, good man, the fish winds up in your boat. So remember that fishing is a lot, or I'm sorry, luring is a lot like fishing. And uh, we just did clockwise go around, yes, good man, yes. And I was a little bit lazy. I want to mark both of those positions. And I'm going to turn to the side here, and we're going to go counterclockwise now, which is a direction that I don't believe that uh, Hops has gone. And um, what I want you to pay attention to is that this cookie here is going to transfer from hand to hand. And I want to mark the moment that that transfer happens. You ready, Hops? Yes. Yes. Good. And he's kind of getting that stop again. That's really interesting. What are you doing there, buddy? Yes. Yes. What we're doing is we're transferring the cue. And I'll, I'll actually show you this from the back. We're transferring the cue. Yes. Yes, from hand to hand. And that's really important. Um, our dogs are going to need to take these cues and to switch from hand to hand pretty frequently. Um, so uh, what we're doing is we're teaching this at a very, very foundational level. Uh, the concept of transferring from hand to hand. Yes, yes. I want to reinforce the dog in the finished position. I'm not looking for a sit. I'm not, no longer looking for a for side position or heel position, I'm looking for movement. So we got um, clockwise, counterclockwise around, foundational frisbee moves. What I'm going to do now is a, um, is a backwards through. Are you ready? Yes, good man. It's exactly the same, yes. Except what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, push my, <laughs> my offhand uh, between my legs. And that's where the transfer of cookies is going to happen. You'll notice that I'm pumping him full of cookies right here. And that's because this position here is a terrifying position for dogs. Hops. Um, when the handler gets over the dogs, and you can see he's a, he's a hardcore jack. And oh yeah, you see that cookie. When you get over them, they get nervous. So um, I want to ensure that I add lots and lots of value. Yes, mark that transfer. Yes, to this position here. So lots of cookies right there. You cannot give too many cookies there. If he sits down, pull him out front, keep the cookies coming, and I can actually release him. Hops, send him out there. Reinforce for position. Hops, yes, 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 good man. 
We'll just pretend that I'm gonna give him lots of cookies here, because I'm almost out of cookies. Good trainer, let's go. Good man. So we got um, clockwise, backwards through. Take the lure, hop. Yes, get him around, yes, mark the transfer. Reinforce him here. Lots of cookies there. Come on, big man, you ready? All right. So we're gonna work counterclockwise again, not, not uh, Pops is strong side, not many dogs strong side. Um, well, speaking of strong sides, um, dogs have, yes, dogs have a, um, a strong and weak um, outrun, for lack of a better word, I run a lot of border collies, um, meaning that um, they're going to move in a circle in one direction better than the other. Uh, they're going to flip in one direction better than the other. Uh, that's very important because a lot of times, you know, frisbee is uh, get around, throw the frisbee. And everybody wants to send their dog in a clockwise fashion. Well, not all, not all dogs are right-handed. Some of them are left-handed. And it uh, can be very frustrating for a dog to run their entire career, you know, using the wrong hand, using the, uh, the weak expression of that behavior. So um, pay attention to that. You can see it happen when the dog goes to lay down. Oh, you're so good. When the dog goes to lay down before he goes to sleep, you'll see him spin around. Usually it is the correct way, his strong side, his natural right-handed or left-handedness, if you can call dogs that. So back to the task at hand. We're going to go counterclockwise backwards through. Are you ready? Yes, good man. Let's pick him up with the lure. Yes, mark the transfer. Yes. Add value here, yes, good man, very nice, excellent, good. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple cookies. All right, you'll notice that I'm hooking hops up with a really high rate of reinforcement. He's gonna work a, lo a long time today, so I wanna make sure that it's worth his while. All right, are you ready? Pick him up with that lure, yes, yes, good man. I'm gonna give him some cookies here. Now I'm gonna start to add the foundation of a scoot. So I'm going to hold this cookie, squeeze it in my fist, put it a little bit under his chin, and push him back. Yes. Turn and reinforce. I'll show you that from the side. I'm going to go back to his strong side. Yes. Yes. Good man. This cookie under his chin. Yes. Good man. Push him back. Again, you can see that he's kind of resisting that. I don't really care now. I don't think he's ever done a scoot. Um, and uh, all that matters is that he's backing up and he's getting reinforced where he's going to be. You ready? Yes, good. Yes, good man, yes. And what we should see here, yes, good man, is that that, that backing up from that position starts to get faster and faster. It's a very um, standard application in positive dog training. Yes. The first couple don't happen that fast, but it starts to get, yes, oops. Starts to get better and better, and for those of you guys who know, that was just a scoot, and we just threw that in out of nowhere. But it starts to get better and better. Yes. Ooh, I'm not going to hook you up. It was very good, but I'm not hooking you up for that. I really want to reinforce him back here. Yes. Because this turn here kind of signifies the end of the behavior. And um, I'm going to show you from this angle. Yes, mark the transfer, pay him here, take a cookie, good. We'll see if we can, oh, good man, I'll give you one for that. All right, one more time, here we go, yes, 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 the foundation of a scoot. All right, uh, one thing about that, um, if the, um, the session is, it, or if the behavior is not going that well, if it falls apart in the middle, like it did with me backing him up, let's say I get here and it falls apart and we don't know what the heck is going on, don't force it. If you force it, you're teaching faulty technique, okay? And uh, teaching faulty technique is not fair to you and it's not fair to your dog, is it? It's not fair. Much better to practice perfectly than it is to practice far less than perfectly. Come on, big man, yes, yes. If you practice perfect, yes. Then your dog has nothing but perfect experience, which is exactly the way that positive trainers want to have that work out. All right, so, got the around, yes. Clock, counter, yes, good man. The backwards through, 
Yes, good man. And the backwards through counterclockwise, yes. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bust out that scoot. Turn him around. Yes, good man. So funny, uh, people will work weeks on that. And uh, the real problem with the behavior is this position here. It's a scary position for dogs to be in. But if we add lots of value right here, we call this, whoops, we call this right here change position. If we add lots of value here, this position here, overarching tons of pressure on the dog, is really valuable and the dog wants to seek that out. Good. So when I get into that position here, yes, good man, the dog is not going to try and squirt away from me and run away. All right. Are you ready? I hear you. Okay, so we got around, clockwise, counterclockwise, backwards through both ways. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to hook that up together and finish off this foundational setup move drill by going around. Yes, pass the cookie. Yes, pass the cookie. And there's my through. Once the dog is used to catching hand to hand, the dog is going to follow these cues. See that? It's just beautiful. Good man. Good man. And uh, once he gets that, he's just going to follow those cues all day long. Um, a lot of times what will happen here, yes, good man, is that trainers will start to get, I mean, he'll do it totally, fluidly, okay? But um, we don't want to do that yet. This is the first time I've worked with this with, uh, with hops here, and I want to ensure that I deliver a really solid foundational understanding, which means that I'm going to match the cookies, mark every piece of the behavior. You ready, hops? Yes, I'll match the cookies. Yes. 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 Very nice. To build this to a weave, all we do is add the final piece around. Yes. Through. Yes. Pass the cookie. Yes. Very nice. Hops. Good man.